2015 welcomed over 120,000 visitors, many of which were looking to source innovative solutions for a more sustainable textile business. Digital textile printing supports this goal, and the show saw invention in both printing equipment and inks. Pigment inks have been a hot topic for some time, as the industry endeavours to find a solution for digital that is both stable and complete with dispersions that limit aggregation, which can result in ink clogging in the printhead. At Itmar, new solutions were offered by DuPont, Kian and Huntsman, and new entrants into the market included Velvet Jet and Alpha Inkjet. Here we're showing for the first time Velvet Jet water-based pigment ink, which is one ink that can print on all different types of fabrics. So regardless of the application that you're using it to, you can print on cotton, polyester, viscose, lycra, silk, and even non-fabrics like leather and veneer. This gives a tremendous ability for printing bureaus or print shops to offer customers a very, very large range of solutions which they were unable to produce so far. We started based upon the color space we wanted to achieve and then worked towards that goal rather than going the other way around and starting with pigments and pigment dispersions and then seeing what type of an ink we could create it out of that. So we just took a, a little bit different approach in creating the ink. Because of that, what makes the inks different is they're very brilliant. They're very, very bright. Their blacks are very, very deep, and the colors are very, very rich. And they resemble traditional inks and traditional pigment inks, which is really the markets that we're trying to go after and the markets that we're really trying to attract over to the digital printing space. Printing with VAT dyes is another area of development that was realized at ITMAR. Collaboration between Zimmer and Dystar culminated in a solution for high-end upholstery and other end uses. Fat dye printing represents around 3% of the broad textile market, which sounds like a small percentage, but is equal to that occupied by the whole of digital textile printing. Wet dyes have the advantage uh, of the very high light fastness, rub fastness, wash fastness, so it goes everything in, into military, it goes into workwear, it goes into um, um, high-end upholstery where, where you need a good light fastness. And, and, here, and here I think we are the, at the moment the only one who are having... Uh, it, was, it was a long time development because extremely difficult because the wet dyes are really... Uh, it's, a, it's a nasty chemistry where, where uh, what we have seen that we have to adapt uh, the print heads according to, to, to the ink because the specific weight of the wet dyes is completely different to anything else. And uh, we have tested different print heads on it and we have seen that we need a circul uh, circulation system because otherwise we have a lot of sedimentation and blockage. But, but now we, with, the, with the Starfire head from uh, Fuji, we, we are in a, in a, good, in a good shape. Also taking a new approach to inks for digital textile printing, our Chroma introduced its new Inkpresso system, which enables ink mixing on site and the creation of an individual colour fingerprint. We did not want to invest in a development which would not have the benefits to the environment, to our approach, sustainability. So we said it has to be a step change. And we have also then considered already the way we would do the system, it should also lead to a potential saving of transport costs, of handling, which are great benefits, benefits for the environment. Then. We have developed a full range of reactive dyes for this application, and we are currently developing dispersed dyes. In order for digital to take a larger share of the traditional textile printing industry, faster printing speeds need to be achieved and ITMAR saw many manufacturers taking steps towards high-speed printing. Single-pass printing was a key area at the show, with MS exhibiting a full-production Lario, SPG launching the Pike printer, 
Connick and Minolta running factory tours to show visitors the Nassinger SP1, and Mayakoshi providing details of its MTP 1800 printer. Cornet also launched the beta version of the Vulcan printer for high-speed direct-to-garment printing. So the Vulcan is a highly productive direct-to-garment printing system. For the first time, we go away from our established one operator model. The Vulcan is a little bit different in the sense that we, let's say, split the operation into a two operator model. You have somebody who's loading the shirts, then on the end of the machine you have somebody who's unloading the shirts. And um, it's like a production um, chain system where the printing pellets go on kind of a train, on a circulating train. So it's faster, it's probably the fastest machine in the market because of the new printhead and ink technology that we are using. And the printing cost per piece uh, can be reduced by up to 25%. And it's printing 250 shirts an hour, regardless of the uh, quality level and uh, of the question if it's a white or a dark shirt. So um, it's really way more productive and it's the right uh, system for the kind of people that have like half a million or a million garments that they want to produce in a, in a, in a year. So it's really highly productive.